Hello there and welcome to PGA Tour 2K21. My name is John and my job is to get you swinging that club like a pro in as little time as possible. Let's crack into it. To begin your swing, pull back on the swing stick. When your golfer's at the top of their backswing, press the swing stick forward. Give it a go. Good job on that one. After each shot, you will get feedback as to how accurate your shot was in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a white stripe, and that is your swing plane, and that is where your swing needs to live. The more difficult the shot, the more narrow your swing plane will be, so pay attention out there. Now let's try another swing and keep it inside that white stripe. That's the stuff. And you're also gonna receive feedback on your swing timing, and that's the meter that kind of wraps around the top of your swing accuracy indicator. Your backswing timing refers to the point at which you transition from backswing into downswing. If you do this too early, you're gonna reduce the power of your shot. If you do it too late, you're gonna add power, but increase the difficulty of the swing. Your downswing timing refers to how quickly you flick that swing stick forward. If your downswing is too fast, you'll hook it, and if it's too slow, you'll slice it. Let's try to get perfect timing on this next swing. That was well done. Congratulations, you've got the basics down. Pat, can't wait to see you use some of these lessons out on the course. In this lesson, we're going to talk about one of the most important skills you can have at your disposal, and that is putting. Now, to begin your putt, pull back on the swing stick. The farther you pull back, the stronger your putt will be. The back swing meter at the bottom of your screen is going to give you a target for where your strength should be. Now, as you pull back, wait until the indicator gets in the white part of your back swing meter and then press forward. That's what we're looking for. The putt weight is how hard you hit your putt. To set your putt weight, move the aim marker towards or away from you. The further away from you the marker is, the stronger your putt will be. Since this is a downhill putt, we'll want to ease up on our weight. So move your aim marker a little bit closer to you by pulling down on the aim stick and then have a go at this. Well done on that lesson. Those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt is going to break to the right, so you're gonna have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the aim stick to make adjustments before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. Hmm, not, not quite there, is it? Let's try again. Well, you've got that one down. 
And with that, you are ready to tear it up out there on the greens, metaphorically speaking, obviously. As with any skill in this game, this is going to take a lot of practice, and it does come down to feel, so I encourage you to play as much as you can. Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am going to show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. Okay, so for this shot you're hitting into the wind. This means you are going to have to club up, or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wedge, then just pop this shot onto the green. And let's just go ahead and try that again, okay? Nice work. Now it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not going to do. Now to get on the green from here, you are going to need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. All right, that didn't pan out. Let's give it another go. Well, that didn't quite pan out. Let's uh, give that another go. Hmm, not quite. Let's try that again. Good job. That's what we're looking for. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain, and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. For this particular situation, let's change our club to the sand wedge, and then change our shot type to a splash shot, which is a great shot for getting out of these greenside bunkers. After that, Give that swing a go. See if you can stick it close. Well, no need to linger on this lesson. And now that you know a thing or two about shot types, I'd encourage you to keep on trucking with these lessons and get into some more advanced stuff, because I think you're ready for it. Hello there, and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're going to learn about techniques you're going to want to master if you want to compete with the pros. Let's begin. In this situation, we are going to need to take a partial swing. If you chip this with full power, it's going to blow right by the hole. So, we are going to have to move our aim marker closer to us to compensate. Move the aim marker a little bit closer to you. See if you can get about a 75% power chip and then use the backswing meter at the bottom of your screen to dial in the proper strength for this chip. Well, you've got the hang of this one. You're going to come across situations like this one where you want to adjust the spin and loft of your shot. In this case, we want to land our shot on the green softly without a whole lot of roll. And for that, we need to add some backspin. Hold down the true shot button 
and move your aim stick down to increase your loft and back spin. And then have a go at this pin and see if you can land it nice and soft and close. Well, not quite. Let's try that again. Not quite. Uh, let's reset. Try again. Great work. Looks like you've got the hang of that. Applying a fade or draw to your golf shot is a great tool to have at your disposal. By holding down the true shot button and moving the aim stick to the left, you can apply a fade. By moving the aim stick right, you can apply a draw to the ball flight. To complete this lesson, apply a fade to your next shot and watch that ball curl gently back into the middle of the driving range. Hmm, that uh, should probably be tried again. Uh, not quite. Let's try that one again. Well, I think we've got time for another try at this one.
Uh, didn't quite get that. Let's try that one again. We'll chalk that one up as a success. This is the end of the advanced shots tutorial. If you want to get even more advanced, you can always go to the profile menu and tweak your club selection in your golf bag. Either way, it's going to take a lot of practice to get used to these advanced techniques. And I can't wait to see how your career progresses as you explore the game. Well, this is where we part ways, my young Padawan. All that's left for you is to choose a difficulty level and then customize your golfer in the My Player menu if you want. Have fun, and I'll see you out there on the links.
Hello and welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. We're at the TGC Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, it's like the first day at school is that this player has now made it to the PGA Tour. What could possibly be going on through their mind? They're just trying to not vomit <laughs> when they're on the first team. <laughs> right. Nobody's thinking about the money and the excitement <laughs> and the major wins. And this is the honest truth. You are literally so excited to hit that first tee shot. 
you really don't care where it goes, but you want it to be in play, but right. you just, that's the only thing that you can. Let's just get going. That's the only thing that you can possibly comprehend mm -hmm. is hitting that ball. That's the only thing you can, I, I dare any other player to say, well, <laughs> this is the <laughs> right. yeah. first of many unbelievable opportunities. Listen, we, we can talk about everything that they want to achieve or what their career was, but right now their one and only goal is getting that first tee shot in play somewhere. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. Second shot here on the first. Going with the seven. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Outside chance here for the birdie. Setting up here with a very long putt.
car park coming up here. Fair bit of pace on that one. Twenty feet to the cup. Ooh, a little bit of a rush of blood by the looks of it. Oh dear, this next putt now for double bogey. Good looking putt. Good putt that. Sitting at two over for the day. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Double bogey in the last hole. That really set this player back. Hopefully it isn't too costly. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot on the second. Going with the hybrid. Uh, that's going right. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. Where was that going? Time now for the fourth shot. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Uh oh, this one's out heading towards the rough. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here.
Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough. Oh, well played. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Steady on. Four feet to the cup. And there it is. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. off here at the third hole. Going with the five wood. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. John, do you have any info down there? Well, guys, I'm on the 12th hole and Jim Furyk sort of prepping his next shot. Oh, this looks pure. Oh, what a lovely putt to make. And that will take him to one under. Let's return to live play now. Lining up the birdie putt here. Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. Downhill putt, and sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from just a short time ago. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one? Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. Going with the five iron here. Good shot there. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance.
Remember, putting's a finesse game. Five feet coming up to the cup. Okay, steady now. This next part is for bogey. Not sure how that putt came up, Shy. Seven feet to the cup. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And down she goes. Currently at plus nine for the day. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. That's heading for the fairway. Playing from around 210 yards here. Is that right? I think so. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, they lucked out here. I mean, they did get into some deep rough, but the lie ended up being not too, too bad. And here we are with their four. This one's for bogey. Oh, that's criminal. How do you leave that short? And this next putt here is for a double bogey. This one's looking good. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this next putt is for triple bogey. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Billy Horschel currently in the lead here. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Luke coming off a disaster on the last hole. They really need to shake that off and bounce back here on this hole. to say just some of the best rhythm in the game
Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Nailed it. Okay, let's get back to the action. Second shot here on the sixth. This one might roll into the rough. And here we are with the third shot. Oh dear, that's on the beach. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Ah, this one's headed out of bounds. Here's their seventh shot. One just missed the hole. Yeah, that one will play. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Get excited. This could go in. Mm, no one likes to put a quad on the card. Let's make this, please. Hey, that's a chance. Oh, just missed. That hole's done. Billy Horsham is atop the leaderboard with a one-stroke advantage. Ting off here at the seventh. Look. That's in the past, that hole behind you. Just look at the one in front. That's a bad error to make there. That's headed right. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. 11 feet to the cup. This one's tracking. That was a gallant attempt. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. Ian Poulter with an outstanding shot here. Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down.
Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. It's heading to the bunker for sure. It's a chance for a good shot here from the fairway bunker. They've got that one a bit heavy. But the green's still in sight. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. This one's headed towards the rough. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? They are into some deep, deep rough here, fellas. Let's watch, see what they can do. Here's their sixth shot. This putt coming up is for triple bogey. That one's come up short. This putt just five feet away from the hole. That's half a chance of being hole, this one. Yep, you'll take that. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. Getting ready to play their third. Going with the pitching wedge here. Let's hope this one gets a good lie because it's heading towards the rough. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Not taking enough club to get it there. This would be a great up and down.
They've held it. That'll be for Birdie. Oh, beautiful little pitch shot down the hill. Thank you. Gets it to go. Great shot. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Looked like they were swinging a snake, not a golf club. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau's effort. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts John, how do you see it? Well, this looks like about 28 feet. Terrific roll. It even had a chance. And back to the course with the live action. Rich, we know Bryson DeChambeau is a very analytical player, but when he's on, he's dynamic, isn't he? He's unique in his approach. There's no doubt about it, but it works for him. I like it. It's new, it's interesting, it's different. And I, that's good for the game. This one might just sneak off the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. An opportunity to make their par. by the hole. Putting for bogey. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Patrick Cantlay is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. You've arrived at a par four. Ouch. That's the awful S word. Shank that one. <laughs> Playing from around 160 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Wow, what a shot. Not bad. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago.
Bryson DeChambeau with a fantastic shot. Lining up for his second. Well, that was a beauty. Right out of the top draw. Nicely played. Let's get back to it, shall we? Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Oh, so close. And that should secure the par. Well done. Patrick Cantlay currently in the lead. Par threes are always fun. See if you can knock it close. Going with the seven. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. Yeah, that approach didn't seem to fit their eye. And coming up well short. It's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. Absolutely. In the bunker, off the tee, getting that one. That is a Brucey bonus. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Down here on the 15th, fellas. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. Gee, that had a chance, didn't it? Okay, let's get back to the action. Getting ready to play their third. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can and hope for the best. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Yeah, that was slightly misjudged. Bogey putt coming up here. It was on a good line. 
Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Well hold. Time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Nicely done. Playing from around 240 yards. This one looks to be a tad wayward. And here we are with the third shot. No, that's not the shot they wanted. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Yeah, they're in the sand, and it's sitting up pretty good in this sand. Pretty good lie. This is their fifth shot. Well, Rich, you think they can make this one? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. And that putt will end up short. Six feet remaining to the cup. Oh, that's frustrating. And a quadruple bogey putt coming up now. have a par three on this one coming off a really bad hole there hopefully they can shake it off and concentrate on this one opting for the five wood That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here.
Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And this one is for Bogey. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. Looks like they've got the five wood. Nicely done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Oh, shakes a lot. That's awful. John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, I'm down here on the 18th hole. This is Ian Poulter's next one. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Ooh. <laughs> Let's return to live play now. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> Playing their fourth shot. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Look, I got to say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Ouch, that hurts. And this one will be for double bogey. And after this hole, that's how it looks. We have a short par four ahead of us here. They are trailing heading into the short par four. Do they take it on to the layup? How much do they trust their swing right now? We'll find out. That was a little untidy, wasn't it? That's in the sand. This one looks to be slightly offline here. Oh, that's disappointing. From one bunker to the next. He's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? 
Yeah, they are deep down into this bunker. Uh, should be interesting to see how they escape this one. Oh, a little sigh of relief. Happy to be putting again. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Just didn't drop. This is a bogey putt coming up. Well hold. Let's move on. Justin Thomas is our current leader. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. Where did that come from? That's not his style. This next shot coming up from the sand. Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? This is a dicey lie, guys. Really deep rough here, and uh, it's really thick too. Hopefully they can, uh, hopefully they can deal with this and be on their way shortly. I'd be booking in for some lessons if I was swinging it like that. Time now for the fourth shot. This one is headed to the right. That's not what they were looking for. That's been the story of the day, isn't it, Luke? It has missed a lot of greens, and you can't afford to do that on this golf course. Okay, so that's step one, but now I've got to hold a mid-range putt. And that will conclude his tournament to date. Well, Rich, an absolutely delightful day. Pleasure to share it with you and everyone watching at home. Lovely being alongside you as well, Luke. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
Thank you. 